Hello and welcome to More Than Organized Monday. I'm Miriam and welcome to June. I can't believe it's June already. It's crazy. Um, so today I want to talk about connecting things. And I mean connecting things in our brains. Um, the connections between our thoughts, our emotions, our behaviors, our outcomes, that's where it starts. That's where real transformation begins in terms of what you might want to um, work on to be more organized, more productive, to systematize and streamline your life. All of these things start with our thoughts. Um, but really, to have great thoughts, you kind of need to know what your outcome is. I've talked about this a little bit over the last few weeks, but knowing your desired outcome allows us to stay oriented along the process. And then when we think about what that outcome is and what we might need to do to, to get there, that's when we start having emotions about it, right? That's when the stuff comes up, that internal stuff of, oh my God, that'd be fantastic, but I can't. Oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Who am I to think that? You know, like we talk ourselves out of it to a certain extent. So recognizing that our thoughts lead to our emotions allows us to begin to make that connection a reframe. What if we thought about it differently so that the emotion we feel when we think about that desired outcome is more in line with the outcome than with the negative self talk self emotions about it, right? We can think our way through to our outcome because when the thought leads to the emotion that's closer to the emotion you want to experience as a result of doing something, that something you do will be more in line with the outcome you want as well. I know. It's complicated sounding, but it's actually very easy. So let's say you want to be more organized. No, let's do something different today. Let's say you want to be on time for things and you are a person that chronically runs late. And so if your outcome is that you would like to arrive places on time, how would someone who arrives on time think? They might think, oh, I need to leave a little bit early because there might be traffic or, oh, I, I need to begin getting ready earlier so that I'll be ready on time. And that may make you feel pressured or it might make you feel really on top of things. You get to um, decide ahead of time that you want to do this to get that outcome of being on time. And as someone who is on time, you're going to think and feel a little bit differently, which is going to lead to the behavior of actually getting ready a little bit earlier. All of this is to say that every time you have a hard time making a decision, know that your unconscious brain is going to try to keep you doing the exact same thing you've always done, which is being late. And to do to get a different result or outcome, you have to change that first in your thought, then in the emotion around that thought, and then the behavior as a result of that emotion. So this is why habits are difficult to form. You have to know what your outcome is, what you want the behavior change to be, how you are going to feel about that, how you might deal with any obstacles that come up as you're practicing that new behavior and feeling the feelings that are going to be uncomfortable at first. But if you feel them anyway and realize you're not going to die, you will get that new outcome. It's just how our brains work. You think, you feel, you behave, you get a result. Um, it's hard and you need to practice. And don't forget, a reward would be handy too. Um, you can look up how to create a habit loop all over the place. I believe I have a video or two about it as well. But start thinking about thinking. Metacognition is really fun. Um, and we're learning more and more about the brain every day. And that's why it's getting easier, even though it's still a little bit difficult to change our behaviors and our emotions and get a different outcome. Okay, 
Now, let me know if this was confusing to you, if it made sense to you, if this is something you would like to see more of and to work more of. Um, I'm happy to bring more. I think this all of June is going to be about making the connections that cause organization or disorder or uh, lack of productivity or feeling more productive all month long. We're going to be making that connection about how we behave actually affects our environment and how to overcome any of the little uh, dissonance that occurs when we're not organized about that. All right. I want to remind you now to subscribe, like, share, tell all your friends, um, follow me. And um, in the meantime, have a delightful day.